Hey yeah, I've got a Kryptonite bike lock here, and this is a CryptoFlex 1218. It's got a 12 millimeter cable. It looks quite tough. It's a pretty good quality lock, but if you um, lock up your expensive bike with this, thieves are still gonna be able to cut through this pretty quick with their tools. But what I'm gonna show you today is how to decode one of these locks. Now when I got this from the shop, I was surprised that the default factory code wasn't all zeros. Apparently it's a thing for Kryptonite for this lock to put it as 0005 as the factory default. I did not know that, so I had to decode it to be able to open this up. Okay, I'm going to shuffle this by, I'm going to change the combination, I turn it to the right making sure I'm going to turn that all the way to the right and I'm going to shuffle the wheels so that oh that's all the way to the right I didn't have it all the way to the right when I turn it all the way to the right you can see that it's red in here it's not red and that's red and now I can shuffle the wheels turn the wheels without looking just put some of them back and forth back and forth to different positions there that, that should do it I'm going to uh, make sure that they're all in the same sort of not halfway in between I'm going to put that back I'm going to close up the shackle I'm going to push it down all the way I'm going to turn these without looking I'm just so I don't I have no idea what the combination is I'm going to put all these to zero so I can keep track of where I'm up to okay so the bike lock does not open now you see when I push it close and pull it push it pull it this side you can see the gap going smaller and bigger and that side stays the same you might be able to see that and that's because the lock wants to open from this side and pull out whereas this side it doesn't and but we're going to start from this side we're not going to start the side that it's going to open from we're going to start from the other side we're going to start with this wheel and what we're going to try and do is test each wheel to see what what number enables the wheel to be able to be not just wiggly, left and right, but left to see if it, it goes left. So just make sure that instead of the locks being pushed in, just pull it out a little bit. You don't need to maintain tension, so that's good. The tough lock like this, you don't. Um, although I have shown other methods where you can decode a lock, tensioning it and using what's called the indirect method. You can see that in some of my other videos. And it does work on this lock, but it's very tough. You'd need to put it in gloves for your fingers because it rips up your fingers because the wheels are so tough to turn and, and you have to be really strong and you get really tired. But um, it's, it's tough going, so I wouldn't recommend it. I'm going to show you a different technique where you don't need to tension it, don't need to pull it open, um, don't need to maintain that tension. And we're just going to see which number this wheel can go right the most you can see that it's even on zero it, it is going right you can see the um, gap here opening up and this gap closing up as it's whoops as it's pushing as it's going this way I'm sort of just holding these wheels and you can see that it's I'm able to open that up a little bit whereas if I move to one Okay, it only maybe does a little bit, but not much at all, whereas zero, it's, it's doing it. But this is what I'm looking for. So maybe zero is the right number straight away. One isn't doing it. Two, no. Three, three does a little bit. Hmm, so... Four... 
four. That's a little bit. No. No. Mm, not really. No. No. So it's between zero and three and four, I said. So just a little bit. It does it eat more than three, I think. So four's looking good. Is four better than zero? Maybe. So I'm going to leave it on four. We can always come back to this if we need to. I'm going to go to the next one and I'm going to hold, I'm, I'm going to hold these wheels. I'm going to try and move these ones left. I'm looking to see if a gap opens up here. I'm going to see if it's going to push both these wheels and the gap here is going to be smaller. And no, I'm getting nothing. 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 No. No. Not really. Hmm. Now eight. Eight does it. Mm, not really. So I'm I'm liking eight. You can see that it, it's opening up a gap here, closing up a gap here when I'm holding these wheels and pulling this way like this. So I'm liking eight. Now I'll go into the next wheel. Holding this wheel and pulling to see again if I can have a gap here and to see if we'll pull all of these and close this gap here. No. 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 Um, four is doing a little bit. You can see it's opening up a little bit here and closing a little bit here. So that four could be our number on this wheel. Um, maybe a little bit. Eight. Eight's doing it quite a bit. It's opening up this, closing this. So it's either four or eight. Not really that one. So let's go back to four. So four looks pretty good. It's I like how it's moving all these wheels. It's a good sign we're on the right track. It's a good sign that these two are correct as well, I mean. And eight. Yeah, it's also good. It's other four or eight. Maybe I'm liking four the best. Um, okay, so I'm going to try four, and if it's not four, then I can always go to eight. Okay, I'm going to try and pull open every single number. I'm going to test for this wheel, so not zero, not one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, so I'm going to turn it to eight this time and try every single number for this wheel. No, no, Okay, so it wasn't any of those which surprised me because I quite liked 
I quite liked how 4 and 8 were behaving. See how it's just, it's really good. It opens up here and it closes up here. It's doing what it's supposed to. Just let me test other numbers. So there's the 8. Unless one of the other wheels are wrong. So um, just let me test. No, nothing there. No. Do you like that eight? Two is also a possibility. So let's try to and test every single number on this wheel. Did I actually try zero? Okay, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so it's not two here. If I put this to eight, yeah, I'm just not really liking it. It just doesn't seem seem good. I'm liking the 8, I'm liking this 4, so let me just check this one again, so. Could it be 9? 9's a little bit. Mm. Possibility that it's nine series a little bit. Three is a little bit. Four. So let's say so nine. I said I liked nine a little bit. I said I liked zero a little bit. I like zero better than nine. And I, what was it? Um, was it three and four? Let's go to zero. I like zero. Um, when I'm when I'm testing zero, I can see that it's opening up here and closing up here. When I test this one, I, I'm liking how it's moving both of these these numbers. I like how if I push here, it's moving all three of them, which is good. So I'm going to try and open up every single one for this wheel. Two, three, four, 
0845. Okay, so 0845 is the combination, and this method it's probably easier than the indirect method, as I said, to open this particular block that's quite tough to decode. Cheers.